Welcome back to Air Supply, my personal double black jump line at my backyard trails. A few months ago, we did an overhaul on this line, making it bigger, more fun, but most importantly, floatier. After going straight downhill building lots of speed from both the Steez Cannon and Racer jumps, you go into the Step Up, which we'll rebuild today. Even though I've always liked this jump, I just really want it to stand out, so today I hope you'll join me throwing some dirt to make this lip better. Here's the plan for today's project. All right, so here's the deal with the step up. This is probably the best jump we have at the trails. It's really fun right now, and I kind of don't want to change it, but I know it could be so much better. I recently visited Galbraith Mountain, and the Cedar Dust Pro Line has probably the best lips in the world. Some of you may know I'm definitely addicted to that trail, and I want to make it like that. I'm going to keep changing it, and I got some pictures of that lip that I really like. It's the second to last jump that's also a similar step up. Same speed, same gap, so I'm going to make it exactly like that one. Let me explain what I want to do a little more clearly. Right here is the exact jump that I want to clone on the Cedar Dust Pro line. To understand the general dimensions of what I'd like our new step up to be, I snapped some pictures of the lip on the cedar dust line to help me out. This will come in handy during the later stages of the build when I'm shaping up the lip. To start, I'm going to chop up this lip and move it back too. Well, now I'm past the point of commitment. This lip cannot be reversed and rebuilt how it was just a few minutes ago. That just makes me even more motivated to make this lip crazy. Since part of my plan is making it taller and wider, we need to throw materials in the base. This will provide a barrier and support for the bottom of the lip. I'm using lots of medium sized rocks and a few logs to do this job. Everything seemed to be going perfectly until I discovered something I wasn't so sure about. So if I move this lip any farther back, that gets me concerned about the tree clearance right here. Let me show you. So if you walk over here, the lip where it was, it was already cutting it pretty close. But this tree behind me right there, it sticks out over the trail. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. I think it'll be okay, but we'll have to see. I think we'll be okay. I'm just gonna have to make it a little bit shorter than I originally expected, but I think it'll be fine if we do it right. Now to the main part of the build, which is just dirt stacking. With other projects, I try to incorporate different elements into the videos, such as wooden features or weird additions. Here, it's just gonna be a lot of stacking dirt, but I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. To get the tons of dirt that I need for this massive lift, I'm digging a pit right next to the jump, except it's downhill so the risk is low. Most of the dirt on this property is very good, but full of rocks, such as the dirt at the top of this trail and on Silly Sausage. Here, it's quite the opposite. It's just the roots that make digging challenging. Once passed though, the dirt is very easy to dig.
Part of my plan was to make this lip wider as well, so it's nice to see that coming along. In the middle of the build, I decided to try out digging from a different pit because the dirt was getting a little harder to dig. So I decided to go back to the pit. I'm just gonna make it wider on an opposite direction because the clay that I'm getting from over there gets dry super quickly and the weather's supposed to be full sun for the next 10 days. So I'm just gonna keep using this pit. Since I was digging from the side, I kept on seeing where dirt needed to be placed to create the perfect curve that matched my pictures. This made the shaping process easy as getting the rocks out was the only task. Alright, so now it is day two of the big step up rebuild, and this lip is looking pretty good aside from the fact that it's drying out. I think what I'm going to need to do is get some of the ashy clay stuff that's super heavy and throw it on this so that it'll never happen, because we're approaching summer. After giving the lip a very light packing, I got some of that white clay. I was kind of surprised when I went to dump this dirt on because it was all falling down even though the lip wasn't that hard packed. So all this dirt, it's like really good, except the only problem is when I'm dumping it on top of the lip, the lip is so steep that it just falls because these are clumps of dirt. If I just squish this, it just falls apart, but they're balls and it's super heavy and wet. So I can just stick these and eventually they'll pack in but the dirt's amazing. I don't know how I'm gonna get it to stick. We'll figure it out though. Eventually, I was able to get this dirt to stick. I'm just noticing this now when editing the video, but the scale of this lip on camera looks a lot smaller than in real life. This is a big lip. Now let's give it a nice hard packing. This is perfect now. It's really important to pack a jump in hard when it's left in the sun or else it'll dry out and crumble. So I just tarped up the jump for any time that I'm not gonna be here because the sun really does damage to the dirt and makes it way too dry. And we're supposed to have dry weather for the next like 10 days or something. So I'm gonna go figure out a way to get water while I leave this thing to sit. After trying to repair the bucket with duct tape, it didn't work and it was still leaking. So I just used the watering can even though it was smaller and can hold less water. Got the water. One watering can took like 20 minutes to get down here. Well, I know this video is mostly about the lip. To totally replicate the cedar dust jump, I would have to pull the landing about three feet out. So that's what we're gonna do.
I could not wait to test this jump out, but we still had to wait another 30 minutes for this water to dry. If I did it when it was dusty, I would have probably crashed. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, let's see. Oh man, this is just so scary. Oh my goodness, that is so floaty. Yo! Oh my god. That is the most insane jump I've ever ridden in my life. On first hitting this jump, I knew I had created something insane. It feels like a much floatier version of that step up on cedar dust, so let's session it a ton. I can't get enough of this jump. It's too much fun to hit. Oh, oh my goodness. That was so good, man. Isn't this the best jump? It's so good. Let's see it. Oh, yeah. He's good. All right. Let's hit this awesome jump. Oh my goodness. That is so good. That's going to conclude today's video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I really like working on this specific trail because it's definitely my personal favorite. You gotta know a jump is good when this is what the first mark looks like. I'd appreciate a like and subscribe, and a comment would be awesome too. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next week.